Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Let's jump straight into it and have a look at what we're creating today. We're going to use one of our favorite apps and we're going to create a little spelling word activity or our students are, uh, pardon me, um, really getting them to articulate and pronounce their words, coming up with some clues, um, possibly exchanging this activity with one of their peers so that they can actually um, get some collaboration and kind of test each other a little bit. I guess trying to make that process of learning spelling words and bringing in the phonetic elements of it and making it a little bit more interesting for our kids. So all I've got here is um, a title, write this word, little audio that actually gets the kids to say their word. We've got a little clue on the right hand column, which actually looks at uh, the difficult part of the word and maybe gives them some sort of connection with other words that have those kind of difficult parts to it. And then we've got a little kind of shape reveal where you can actually look at a letter at a time or maybe even go at the back and just say, what does it actually end with? Um, looking at different parts of the word and giving themselves a little reveal type activity. So let's jump straight into it. How do we actually do it? Really, really easy. We're going to create a new book, top left-hand corner, go on to landscape, we're going to uh, basically add a little heading here. So we'll add some text and we'll just say spelling. I won't go into the intricate parts of the actual parts of it. Move that to the center. And all we're going to do here is create three columns. So we might create uh, the first column, which was the actual word itself. So it was a little audio recording. And we can actually change the formatting if you're not familiar with that. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll go with 35. We'll change the font color to yellow and we'll actually make the background of the text box black so you can actually see how we can actually change that. So that's gonna be the word. And what some people don't realize in Book Creator is that you can actually copy different parts of it. So I'm just gonna quickly and be a little bit more efficient and actually create three little subheadings over here. And then we can actually double tap on those and actually change it. So the middle one was the actual word. And I think I think uh, the first one was like a, an audio recording of actually say the word. So we'll bring that in there. Uh, I think the middle one was actually like a reveal. So that was the actual heading of the reveal. So I'll put that in there as a subheading. And our third column was actually kind of like an audio clue, if you like, of the part of it, which could be a really effective part of learning your spelling words. So uh, just an audio clue there as well. So we've got our kind of three headings um, and now we can actually kind of say the word. So it's as, as simple as putting in that sound recording. So the bottom one will be the actual say the word. Let's say the word was family. We'll create a little sound recording there. The reveal part will actually be the word itself. So I'm just going to put off capital letters and just make the word family. And what I'm going to do is just press on the I and get rid of that coloring. So I'll make the, the color text and no background just to keep it really simple. And then all we do there is we actually go to the plus again, go up to shapes and just put a, create a little block, which is a kind of a, about the same size as the word. There it is there. And so you can actually get that reveal box. So it actually gives the kids some actual clues. The other thing that you could do is create this as the teacher and actually airdrop out to the students as like an activity. And then the audio clue is obviously another sound recording down the bottom. And so by doing that with each of our words, we kind of finish off with something like this, where we've got an audio recording, we've got a little bit of a reveal answer that looks at different parts of the word, and then we've got a clue at the end. So it could be the actual difficult part of the word. The kids are actually relating it to other, making connections with other words that have similar kind of uh, phonetic, um, I guess, uh, patterns uh, to, to that word as well. So I think this is a great little activity, uh, makes learning spelling words a little bit more fun, but also gets them to articulate, pronounce their words and actually uh, go a little bit more into the in-depth study of each word. You could actually create another subheading there as well. So if I just copy that, um, as the kids get a little bit older, there could be some um, looking at kind of the origins of the word or the root parts of the words uh, that you could actually bring in um, origins of the actual word as well. So you can actually create some more columns there looking at some um, extending our students a little bit more. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, fun little activity for spelling words, getting them to actually look at uh, spelling words in a little bit more depth.